part two of my comic collection and the first comic in the second stack is issue 666 and the, there was loads of variants to this cover so like on mine this is one of my comic shops that are in Manchester it's called the Travelling Man and yeah so if you go on eBay or something they have like this issue but it's got different comic shops on it now Really strange story about this. I went into Travelling Man and it wasn't in there. Then I go my mum goes into the shop next door and finds this for fifty P. How random's that? <laughs> so Spider Man saves Travelling Man. Issue six hundred and sixty six. Issue six hundred and sixty nine. The Amazing Spider-Man signed by Dan Slott. But this is the variant cover, I'm pretty sure, can't remember. I've completely forgot, but obviously it's the same sort of thing as the Amazing Fantasy 15, except it's Dan Slott. So that's issue 669. Now, issue 676, where the Sinister Six takes over. Oh man, I've come, I cannot remember what happens in this one either. But you've got to read it, otherwise the bad guys win. So, that's issue 676. Now this is a really good one. This is one of my favourite ones. Issue 668. New York destroyed. Basically it's where Peter Parker's science um, partner creates a portal to tomorrow. And when the science partner goes through, nothing happens and he brings back tomorrow's newspaper. But when Peter goes through, everything's destroyed, and then when he comes back through, his science partner says, oh, it's not travelling into the future, it's taking you into the future, so like, as if Peter was gone for a day. So, and then, obviously because he's Spider-Man, New York's blown up because he skipped today. So, issue 678. Now, issue 679. Well, the next comic to... So basically the conclusion to 678 that I've just shown you about. It's pretty good. This is the this is one of the best comics as well where you find out what happens. Now this is a really good one. I love this cover. It's issue 677 with, with Black Cat. Now sadly, this issue like after this issue is over, the issue continues in Daredevil issue 7, I think. You know, because it's got Daredevil in it. But it's a really, really good issue, so. Best off picking up that. Now more into the modern... Well, we're already in the modern comics, but I mean, like, the more recent ones. The Amazing Spider-Man issue 690 with... I think that's Morbius and the Lizard. Pretty sure it is, yeah. It's, it's an alright one, it's not that good. Then... Issue 691 continued from the last one where Spider-Man thinks that he's got to kill... I don't know where Madam Web keeps saying that Spider-Man's going to have to kill the lizard to end everything, but when he does, it doesn't... T like, it's hard to explain, you have to read it, but Spider-Man thinks that he's killed him, I think. Now... I got these, big. well, this one, Ultimate Spider-Man issue 97, this is the Clone Sag Sega Part 1, or Saga, whatever you want to say, where it turns out that Scorpion, well, a Scorpion, a version of Scorpion is actually a cloned Peter Parker, but I have, I'll show you the books later, so that's issue 97, Ultimate Spider-Man issue 98, where obviously it's Spider Girl, who is the clone of, or Spider Woman, should I say, who is the clone of Peter Parker, but a girl version, and she kidnaps Mary Jane from a bedroom or something. Issue ninety nine, where Gwen comes back as a clone, because Gwen got killed, but then she comes back as a clone, and also the issue where Aunt May finds out that. Peter Parker is Spider-Man. That's the whole reason I got this one. Then, uh, um, 
issue 100, a milestone in the Ultimate Spider-Man universe. Basically, Spider-Man or Peter Parker has been cloned loads of times. Like, literally, loads. So, that's why there's like 100 Spider-Man all over, Spider all over the cover. Brian Michael Bendis sort of restarted it, then he had issue 1. Sadly, I don't have issue 1. I, it starts at issue 6. So... This is the one where there's an attack at Peter's school, so I'm still working on getting issue 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I need issue 7, 8, 9, 10, and issue 14, but I'll get there. Then we go to issue 11, where the chameleon actually disguises himself as J. Jonah Jameson, and then... But the chame and the chameleon takes on Peter's identity, but the chameleon doesn't know that Peter's Spider Man. Then the chameleon finds out he's Spider Man and robs loads of banks. And that's when J. Johnny Jameson actually finds out that Peter is Spider Man. Now he Peter doesn't tell him, it's like Peter's sat there, like kidnapped, and Jameson's like, Why would they want to kidnap you? And then Jameson puts two and two together and finds out. So pretty good issue, I recommend you buy it. Issue 12, where the chameleon is Peter Parker and he kisses Mary Jane. And then that cause, and because Gwen's going out with Peter, and but they nobody knows that Peter is being taken on by the chameleon, so causes loads of distress in their lives. Then, issue 13, where the chameleon find, is like knows that Peter's Spider Man and he's robbing banks and stuff. And I also think it's... Oh, no, wait, no. Is it the... Might be the issue, I don't know. Sadly, I don't have issue 14 yet, so we skip straight to issue 15. And this is after, I think, they get Peter back. Oh, man, I completely forgot what happens in this one. But the cover's good. Because he's basically just sat there and, some, and... You know, so... It is a really good issue. I highly recommend you buy this one. Now on to the death of Spider-Man, issue 153. Now we have Silver Sable and Rhino and all that around, but Silver Sable and Rhino aren't even in this issue, so... Neither Scorpion or any of them, so... Well, the Vulture and Doctor Octopus are, but... Well, maybe not in this, this issue. I think this is one... This issue has Mysterio and Black Cat in it. And Iron Man. And Spider-Man, obviously. Issue 154, the death of Spider-Man prelude. And this is where they're fighting over something called the Zodiac Key that can basically bring destruction and anything else you want. <sighs> death of Spider-Man, issue 155, where the Sinister Six break out. So we got the Goblin, Sandman, Doctor Octopus, Vulture, Craven the Hunter and Electro, all after Spider-Man. But they break out here. Yeah. And where Green Goblin actually kills Dr. Octopus. Death for Spider Man issue 156. Can't remember what happens in this one, but this is a pretty stellar cover if you ask me, so. It's pretty sick. Death of Spider Man issue 157. I think this is where he gets trained by Captain America. And Mary Jane and Peter get back together. I can't remember though. So. Death of Spider-Man issue 158. I think this is the issue where... No, wait. Yeah, where Peter actually gets shot taking the bullet for Captain America. So, poor Peter. Issue 159, where Peter... Well, Spider-Man, should I say. Still has a bullet wound. And actually goes and fights the Sinister Six while he's got a bullet wound helping Iceman and... Um, Human Torch, a.k.a. Drake. I oh, know Bobby Drake and... Um, what's his name? Johnny Storm. So, recommend you pick this issue up as well. You can get them all with eBay, like I did. I got these brand new as well. And issue 160, where Spider-Man actually dies. Now, I did get this in a poly bag. Sadly, it wasn't signed by Stanley. But I recommend you do get this issue because... It is one of the big issues, like... 
because obviously it's where Spider-Man dies. I mean, who, who else has done that in a comic? So I recommend it. Plus, it's got a kick-ass cover as well. So then we have Ultimate Fallout issue one, and this doesn't. This has. This is the one where it's Peter's funeral and basically the entire city shows up. And it's got a little cameo from Flash Thompson, you know, where he sort of, um, he, he quote, he says, um, am I the only one that didn't know Peter was Spider-Man? There, that's it. And it's where Aunt May talks to the little girl with the burnt face in the crowd. You, if you've read Ultimate Comics Spider-Man Volume 2, then you'll probably know what one about. So, I've still got a stack and a half left to go. So, watch out for part three and remember to rate, comment, subscribe and I'll see you later.